you're going to hear about today is nothing short of a miracle. It's dramatically new. Made possible only through years of research, invention, and innovation. Cliche, good day, folks, and welcome to my next exciting episode of World in a Jar. Now, procrastination, my favorite word. Uh, last episode, I did the time lapse for you because I had been saying for so many episodes that I wanted to build my house, and I did, and there it is in the background there. Before I was getting ready for this episode here, I'm saying to myself, Yes, Karen, we're going to the jungle jar. That's what we're going to do. That's today's plan. But this whole time I've actually been playing this in quite a low um, render distance. Uh, simply so it doesn't, um, so it doesn't lag. Because uh, I didn't want to do that. Let me just put my gear back on. Uh, I wanted this to be as good a quality as my shitty little laptop could do. Um, uh, so yeah, it's been set on about four or five. Now, I'm not going to look over to my right just yet. I'm just going to make my way over there. Um, you can see that the mossy cobble has a arm poking out. He's doing his ex exercises. I was planning on, planning on, here we go, going over to the jungle jar uh, in hopes of possibly getting an ocelot or, if not, just getting some cocoa beans. Oh, you stupid skeleton. But what happened to me... When I actually turned my render distance up, it's not working now. I wonder if I can get up there without dying. Uh, I've seen something, and it's something quite impressive, I think. A little bit exciting, something new, something I didn't even know was in this game. No mobs. Let's just get up to the next level. And this is definitely, definitely what I want to do with the episode today. Let me just light this. Come on, you. Come and get me. Thank you. Shush. I did get it, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. What's starting to render on the left-hand side there? This was an oh my giddy on moment for me. I'll speed this up for you guys. So there you go. That is a kick-ass book jar. A bookshelf jar. Now before I, uh, it's usually mob spawn on the top of the mossy cobble jar here. Um, let me just get my bits back as well. So this is the plan for today. Um, before I procrastinate about procrastinating, I'm just going to get on with it. So I think best thing to do is just to do some speed up through with, uh, with this pathway here. Fingers crossed I don't have... I had a creeper come at me before and I'm really surprised I didn't die. Inventory full of gear. But let's just build our way across. Uh, one thing in the rules does state that if the jar is not made of glass, you must go through the bottom of it. Now, I don't know if you guys saw, but you'll see again in a second. This, uh, this bookcase, bookshelf jar has actually got a door at the bottom, so I think I can I can go through that. I don't think I literally have to go through the underside like I did with the mossy cobble jar. I am a bit excited about this, guys, because I have in any of the screenshots, in any of the playthroughs that I've uh, that I've seen, I have not seen this jar, so I am a little bit excited. Anyway, enough of this. Let's speed this up. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
God, oh my God. Okay, we're doing this slowly. So there's a chest there, clearly. I mean, that's not hidden at all. But there's also a note above the door. Do not know what that says yet. That's a special love note from GT Awesome Source, the creator of this map. Uh, remember, I did mention it in the first video. I had somebody ask me the other day uh, if this was on a server. Oh, um. Uh, this this is downloadable. This map is downloadable. I got it from Planet Minecraft. I'm sure there's other places that you can get it from. Can I get down there? I can. All right. Um, but it's by a map creator called GT Awesome Source. So, is it a love note? No block breaking beyond this point. Oh, balls! No, I want them books. I want them books. Okay. No block breaking. Okay, Mr. Mr. Awesome Source. Let me just protect myself. I'm so excited. Oopsie, wrong way. And I'll get some torches up before... God forbid, I get this far. <laughs> and a creeper comes along or something. <laughs> that would not be nice. Oh, I've only got three more torches. Not well planned, carrot. Not well planned indeed. Book jar. Book jar. G 
GT awesome sauce. Okie dokie. What's this one say? In this puzzle, many ends you'll meet, but some of them hold secrets right beneath your feet. Ooh. Fantastic. Okay, I'm guessing that I... It's a one-way dearly. Am I going to need torches? Should I go back? You know what? Balls to torches. All right, let's just eat. Let's try and open a iron door with a cookie. Um, what can I, I, just in case I lose, I don't need that. Or that, 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 that. Don't need the book anymore. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. Let's just take these two things. Okay. Um, now I've got a feeling this is a labyrinth. My trick, I love labyrinths, mazes, all that kind of stuff. Oh, it's maxi. The one trick I have is you stick to a side. Basically, if you put your shoulder, one of, one of two shoulders, against a wall and do not move it, you will eventually get to the end. So, let's take right-hand turns all the time. I did see stuff at the very bottom of the jar, like the, uh, the books go lower at a couple of points. I'm definitely tearing the sh shnikes out of this jar when I'm finished with it. Can you hear mobs? I hear mobs. Alright, so we're turned around. That's okay. Still, t t still making those right hand turns. That was poop. <laughs> just a bit of a skip. Just lagged then. This is a... There's a lot of stuff going on in this jar, so I'm not surprised. Okay, I just changed the render distance in hopes that that might help. Maybe I should have bought torches, but that's okay. That's okay. Still making those right-hand turns. May have just got turned around on myself then, but that's... No, this is new. I've not come to that kind of a dead end yet. Oh, hello, chest. Okay. Oh, well, that's cool. That would be why the books are down a little bit further in certain parts. Glowstone. Yes. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. No, you buggers. Don't blow up my book jar. This is going to suck. How am I going to kill these guys? One down. I don't want it to blow up the book jar. I don't care about the other mobs, but creepers can sod off. You're ruining all my fun. You buggers. You guys not bothered. Not bothered. Okay. So we're going to have to keep an eye out for creepers now too. I really didn't think. I thought they might have had this set. Oh, nice. Oh, maybe. Really? But I'm not supposed to break blocks. Is this a beneath my feet? Am I going to be that stupid? <gasps> no, you die. I'm in trouble. I broke the box. How am I going to get out of here? Maybe it, I should have. Mm. Damn it! He's going to have to cheat. Hey, glitchy. Quit your glitching. Uh oh. Thank you, diamond sword. Is there really no other way to get? This was a bit. This that's not really fair. 
I'm sorry, GT Awesome Sauce. But. <laughs> okay, so still following my right hand shoulder around. My right hand shoulder? You know, slowed. Ah, oh, jeebus. Come on, dudes. Oh, it's very dark now. I'm in trubs. I'm in trubs. Oh, hello. Okay. As long as I don't fall into the the bit that I broke. I ow 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 sneaky. Okay. Oh no, witchy poo. You die. Hehe. <laughs> she didn't give me much stuffs. She didn't give me anything, I think. Maybe I got a spider eye from her. Oh hello, Skelly. Okay. I'm concentrating so hard, guys. Sorry about the lack of commentary at the moment. I need to find a safe place for me to have some cookies. Okay. Let me just cookie it up. New area, little cobble area coming up ahead. I'm sure there's a space that I've missed, though, uh, that would have been, as I came in, oh, it goes up? Uh, as I came in the door on the left-hand side, because I went right. Stuck here, have a hint. No, I'm not stuck, I don't want to, ow, ow, ow. I don't want to look up, I'm still following my right-hand shoulder. Actually, what I might do, guys, if you believe me, is... Oh, no, I'll do it after. What I was going to do was actually me, myself, I, as I'm recording, uh, close my eyes and have a look so you guys can see it. But sods you. I'll do it another time. I just want to do this thing. I feel so bad that I broke those blocks. That actually scared me then. Uh, you die. Okay. Dead ends. We're not fussed about dead ends. I really should have gone back and got uh, got more torches. But, oh well. Might have been a tad boring if I had done that. And is that? That's a dead end. That's cool. This is a big ass jar. No, I say you die. Wow, and not you little shit. Ah, oh, jeebus. They just multiply. You didn't even give me a chance to have my cookie. Okay. Going around to the right. Right hand shoulder. Makes no sense. Dead end. Dead ends. Dead ends everywhere. Okie dokie. This is a bit more promising. Now I'm getting back to the side that I haven't seen yet, over on the uh, the left. And I'm definitely going to have to uh, remake those, the bookshelves, to put back in place. It kind of sucked that there was the, uh, the drop down. Dead end? Yes, lovely. Um... I shall know now. Whoa, hello. Scared me. Because it said oh, the, the, in the book, in the, the, the awesome source book, which I got rid of, didn't I? Um, treasures beneath your feet. So I just assumed. Ah! That I might be able to get to something underneath. Okay. Cookies really don't do anything, do they? <laughs> I got them for free. It's like Pirate Bay. Don't complain, it's free. Come on, man. I hope you guys are keeping up with me. I know that the uh, it's a little jumpy. There's just so much for this poor game to have to load in. Uh, so many, well, pixelated maybe. 
Ha! It's another hint. Opposite hint. Um, but it is still, this is, this is a lot of stuff going on, so, oh, hello, you little bugger. I like that, that they actually dropped her, uh, the baby zombies drop brains now. Ow, 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 ow. No. You too? Don't throw me out of place. Oh, far out. <gasps> you had a sword. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Bad creeper. Iron sword? That seems a little cheaty. Let me just get my hearts up, folks. Uh, I don't think it's going to let me. I'm just going to continue on. And just remember, with the, uh, with the trick of following one side, even if you do get turned around... Oh, hello. Iron sword. That's not helpful. Even if you get turned around, it doesn't really matter because uh, you'll still end up coming out the same way. So, ah, oh, never ending. Okie dokie. Maybe I should have gone the left hand way. <laughs> shoulda, woulda, coulda. It's too late now. Ah. Oh. Big dead end. All right, my heart. I can get my hearts up down the end of here, though. Uh, spoke too soon. Hello. Wow. <gasps> no creeper, no creeper. Oh, no. Well. Oh. Doesn't really seem fair. I think I's going to die. Oh, boy. Let's go this way. This is kind of the way I was going. I think. I'm, I didn't bring anything to build with me. I'm not... Sh Congrats, I made it. Yay! I made it! Now time for puck. Oh, shit. Really? Now time to buy die by a zombie horde. Oh, far out. Stop it. I don't really want to do... My objective. Get to the obsidian. Where is the obsidian? I don't like parkour. Wow. That's pretty impressive though, guys. GT Awesome Source. Good job. Are they the hint bits of glass or is that where that bloody creeper smashed it? I'm really not good at parkour, and especially with the uh, the lag that's um, ah, and there we go. Ah, oh, that's the hint bit. So you're able to look up there. All right, cool. Well, I I bomb dived. Maybe the oh, you know what, sponge. Ah, oh, sponge. Where was the obsidian anyway? Don't be a dick. Try again. I just have to take it easy. I'm going to get bonked on the head. See? How do you make them jumps? Cheating? <laughs> Where's the 
obsidian? What am I missing, guys? Pan around slowly. What, what, what now? I don't see any obsidian. That must have been where the creeper blew me up. Nope. No obsidian here. That's right. I might have a look in the uh, Minecraft wiki or have a look on GT Awesome Sources uh, website and see what he has to say about the obsidian here. Um, I I'm poop at parkour, guys. You won't enjoy it anyway. So this has been my next episode of World in a Jar. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it because this has been pretty damn cool. It's been so cool. Uh, I call hacks on myself. I call cheetah butt on myself. That's okay. You guys don't have to do it. I've already done it for you. Um, uh, one thing, no sponge. Two episodes in a row, no sponge. Um, I'm not going to do the silly sponge dance without my sponge because uh, I'm breaking my own heart, man. I'm breaking my own heart. So, yeah, like I said, this has been a carrot top for World in a Jar. And always remember, say good day to your neighbour.